Smile and learn. Hey everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most fascinating animals, the jellyfish. Do you want to know some incredible facts about jellyfish? Let's go. Jellyfish are invertebrate animals belonging to the Ciliaceae group. They are carnivorous and they feed on plankton, crustaceans, fish eggs, and larvae. They come in many sizes. The largest can weigh up to 7 ounces and measures up to 120 feet if we add their tentacles. But they're usually not that big. Thank goodness. Adult jellyfish are bell-shaped. Their body is jelly-like and they have long tentacles. Here's a fun fact. More than 95% of their body is made up of water. Amazing. Did you know that jellyfish are one of the oldest animals on planet Earth? They've been living here for more than 500 million years. The scientific community considers them the oldest animal in the world. That's older than the dinosaurs. Although they usually live for only about 6 months, some species are believed to have survived longer because of their ability to reproduce by themselves. Did you know that a type of immortal jellyfish has been discovered? Yep, you heard right. This species when it begins to age reverts to a pre-maturation phase that allows it to begin its life cycle again. How cool is that? What if I told you that jellyfish have no blood? They also have no brain, heart, or nervous system. Their senses are very basic and consist of a neural network that differentiates light and dark, and they use sensors to identify their prey. Some jellyfish glow. This characteristic is a way to defend themselves from their predators. thus warning them that they are very toxic. And who are their predators? Some fish, sea turtles, sharks, whales, and even crabs. Poor things, they have so many enemies. There are 2000 different types of jellyfish, and we can find them in every ocean on the planet. But Did you know that there are also freshwater jellyfish? How interesting. Although they live offshore, the currents can wash them ashore. Unfortunately, their presence on beaches is closely related to climate change. The increase in water temperatures creates surface currents that bring jellyfish to shore. Jellyfish tentacles are covered in cells that can sting you just by touching them. They're not very dangerous, but if you've ever been stung, you will know. It hurts a lot. Well, you've already learned a few things about these interesting animals. See you soon. Hey there. Today I'm here to talk to you about one of the most colorful animals. the butterfly. Do you want to know some incredible things about butterflies? Here we go. Butterflies are invertebrate animals that belong to the insect group. 99% of butterfly species are herbivorous and feed on leaves and nectar. Only 1% of the species are carnivorous. and feed on small insects. There are more than 24,000 species of butterflies in the world with very different characteristics. So their weight can range from 0.017 to 0.019 ounces and their length from 1 to 12 inches. Did you know that butterfly wings are actually transparent? We're able to notice their striking colors because they have very fine scales that reflect light. 
These scales also regulate their body temperature. How cool! A butterfly has four stages in its life cycle. The egg, the larva, the chrysalis or pupa, and the adult. Butterflies hatch from eggs and during this initial period, they are larvae, also known as caterpillars. At this stage, they need to feed and get enough energy to be able to grow and build their chrysalis, a structure where the caterpillars remain enclosed and at rest until they emerge as adults. It's amazing! What beautiful wings! The entire process from the time they hatch from eggs until they become adults is called metamorphosis. Butterflies can fly very fast. Some can reach 12 miles per hour. That's pretty fast for such a small thing. And do you think their legs are just for walking? Well, no. Butterflies' taste receptors are in their legs. So they use them to find out if something is edible. It is believed that the maximum number of eggs a butterfly can lay at one time is 500 although not all of them reach adulthood. And did you know that butterflies live very short lives? They live on average between two and four weeks. What a shame! Butterflies have many predators. The main ones are wasps, birds, toads, and dragonflies. But luckily for them, they're not easy to hunt. They're very colorful and are true experts in camouflage. Many have the ability to blend in. That means to become the same color as their environment to avoid detection. Wow! There are many different species of butterflies. They can be found all over the world, especially in tropical areas with warm climates. Butterflies are very important for the environment because they help with pollination, meaning they transport pollen from one flower to another, assisting in flower reproduction. This process is fundamental for Earth's life support. So if you find a butterfly on your path, don't disturb it. It's doing something very important. Well, you've already learned a few things about these colorful animals. See you next time! Hey, hey! Today I want to talk to you about one of the most curious animals, the bee. Do you want to know some incredible things about bees? Here we go! The bee is an invertebrate animal, which means it has no internal skeleton. It belongs to the arthropod insect group. It's herbivorous. Their main foods are pollen, nectar from flowers, and honey produced by themselves. We can find bees in practically every part of the world, although they tend to live in forests, orchards, and gardens. Bees are small insects, measuring between 0.08 and 1.6 inches. Did you know that there are more than 20,000 different bee species? Bees live in communities known as hives, they're very social animals. A beehive is divided into three groups or castes. The queen bee, the worker bees, and the drone bees. The queen bee is the largest and most fertile female, which means she's the only bee that lays eggs. Worker bees are small, infertile, and have various functions within the community. Drones are male bees and their main function is to fertilize the queen. Worker bees are very busy. They have a lot of tasks within the hive. They build and keep the honeycomb clean, place food in different cells, take care of the hatchlings, and protect their community from other bees or wasps. It sounds exhausting! Have you ever seen a yellow structure like this? 
It's called a honeycomb. It's made from small wax cells where bees raise their larvae and where they make honey. Have you ever wondered how honey is made? First of all, bees collect pollen and nectar from flowers. When they return to the hive, they give it to the other bees, which chew the pollen until it loses its moisture and turns into honey. This honey is then stored in the honeycomb cells. Since it's still a bit wet, they fan it out with their wings to dry it out, and that makes honey stickier. You may wonder, why do they make honey? Well, to eat it, like us. Do you know how many eyes bees have? Not two, not three, not four, but five eyes. Since beehives are usually very dark places, the different eye types are very useful. Bees also have a great sense of smell and can detect odors from miles away. Bees are protected species because their activity is essential for plant reproduction on this planet. As they move from flower to flower in search of food, they also transport and carry pollen that flowers need to reproduce. This important process is called pollination. In addition to bees, pollination can also occur thanks to wind or water. This is why bees have been named the most important species on the planet. Wow, you've already learned a lot of interesting things about animals. I'm sure that the next time you see a bee, you won't look at it with the same eyes. See you next time. Hey, hey, today I'm here to talk to you about one of the most hopping animals, the frog. Do you want to know some incredible things about frogs? Here we go. Frogs are vertebrate animals and part of the amphibian group. There are many types of frogs, but they're all carnivores. They eat crickets, butterflies, flies, and basically any insect that comes their way. Frogs, like all other amphibians, live in damp places near water, like rivers, ponds, reservoirs, or even large puddles. Some frogs are tiny and weigh about 0.18 ounces, while others are huge and can weigh up to 18 ounces. And how big are they? Well, that also depends. The smallest frog in the world measures only a few inches, while the largest can measure more than 13 inches. Frogs, along with toads, are tailless amphibians, unlike other amphibians, such as salamanders or newts. That means they don't have tails and they have a flattened shape. There are more than 6,600 species of frogs and toads on our planet. That's amazing, isn't it? Frogs and toads are similar, but they're also different. Frogs have longer limbs and jump higher. And toads have warts on their skin. Ew! They both can live anywhere in the world, except in places where it's very cold. And how do frogs breathe? Well, they can do it in two ways, through their lungs and through their skin. They breathe in two different ways so they can better adapt to the aquatic or terrestrial environment. Do you know how they reproduce? Frog fertilization is external. That means it occurs outside the body. Females lay their eggs in water so that males can fertilize them. In most species, this process takes place in water. Young frogs are called tadpoles 
At birth, they have tails and live in water. And when tadpoles grow older, they grow four legs and live on land. This process is called metamorphosis. Most frogs are harmless, but some are very poisonous. The most dangerous ones are easy to identify because they're usually brightly colored. For example, gold, red, or even blue. How beautiful! And how dangerous! And do you know what frogs are best at? Jumping! Many frogs are capable of jumping 30 times their normal distance. This is very useful for hunting insects and escaping from their predators such as snakes, some birds, or even cats. Unfortunately, half of the world's frog species are in danger of extinction. Amphibians are very sensitive to changes in their environment like the destruction of forests and jungles, or their habitats getting warmer. It makes some species less common. How can we help prevent them from disappearing? It's very easy, by taking care of our environment. Well, you've already learned a few things about these hopping animals. See you next time! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.